My name is Meng Gao. I was born and raised in China, a communist country. I came to the U.S. from China on a student visa. Five months after I arrived, my father passed away in a rare form of pneumonia. My family didn't tell me his death because they were afraid if I went home for his funeral, I might not be able to get the visa to come back again. In fact, I was never able to go back home again. A mind and body exercise I do is banned and persecuted in China. So now America is home and the only home. Today, I'm a US citizen and a award-winning documentary movie producer. I've never forgot how I longed to come to this country and feared that I might not be able to stay, just like millions of immigrants. But I also know why I started this journey in the first place. I came here for the rule of law. I came here for, you know, the freedom, fairness, you know, American dream. You have a justice here. If uh, America is not such a place, I wouldn't want to come in the first place. And uh, that's why when I see what's happening on our southern border, that directly jeopardizes these qualities and especially how our mainstream media failed to report the truth on border because of a partisan politics. I was very worried where this country is heading. The outcry over the separation of families at the uh, U.S.-Mexico border. Mr. President, don't you have kids? Shame! If kids don't eat in peace, you don't eat in peace! And the president himself coming... Having grown up in China with state-controlled media, I know what can happen when misinformation takes control of a country. That's why I wanted to come down to the border and see for myself what's really going on. They operate all along the border. They try to make everyone think that there's like six cartels or something, but there's, there's actually hundreds and hundreds of cartels. What's going on with these cartels south of the border has a, a direct impact as to what's happening in the United States. Today, I'm at the U.S.-Mexico border in the Tucson, Arizona section. What, what's wrong with the double wiring? It looks horrible. I have no opinion about that, okay. thanks. We need a wall because there's invasion and there's women that are being tied up and duct taped. Who said that? This is not to intimidate the Hispanic people. This is to intimidate the people who are going to come in here and do harm. What struck me the most is just the full breadth of human emotions regarding this issue. How did you know they were carrying AK-47? I'm very familiar with that uh, rifle. I served in combat in Vietnam with Special Forces in the 101st Airborne. The general public in our country, they are not being told the reality of what's going on here at the border. This is not politics with me. Long after I'm not the sheriff of this county, this is my home. This is where I live. This is where my children live. This is where my granddaughter lives. This is where people I love and care about live.